Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Javen Postal, and today at the grill, we're making a delicious bacon cheeseburger, smash burger style on the kettle grill. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Also, if you like what we're doing on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. So to get started with this recipe, the only two ingredients that you really need are ground beef. Uh, we're using some 80-20 ground as well as some bacon. And the rest is all optional. You build your burger the way you like to eat it. So the first thing that we're gonna do because we're making these smash burgers is we need to, to form our, our balls that we're gonna be smashing down here. We're just gonna take our ground beef and just uh, loosely uh, pack it into about a two inch ball. That's pretty good, put that down. We're gonna grab some more. And again, we're just gonna form that into a loose uh, packed ball. Once that's done, just move the ground beef out of the way. And then you're gonna take some salt and pepper just gonna liberally coat the outside of these meatballs that we've just made. And the reason we're doing it this way is just so that we don't have to season it uh, after we smash it down on the grill. And because that's all we need to do to get our burgers prepped, we're gonna go ahead and get our grill set up for cooking. So what I did to prepare for this cook is I placed a half a chimney of fully lit briquettes into the Sloan sear, and you'll notice I did remove uh, the water reservoir from the 2.0 version here, just to allow for a larger heat surface underneath the griddle. Next, I'm gonna place the grate on top of the Sloan sear, followed by our dripping griddle pan, which is what I'm gonna be using today to make these smash burgers. Now that the dripping griddle is on the grill, we're just gonna let it warm up for about a minute or so, so that when we press the burgers onto the griddle, it gives us that nice sear crust that we're looking for. All right, so our griddle is all up to temperature and it's now time to smash these burgers down. We're gonna take our ball of, of ground beef along with our spatula and we're gonna smash it down as hard as we can for about 10 seconds. Then once that's done, I'm gonna move on to the next burger. Again, the same thing, I'm gonna press this down onto the griddle for about 10 seconds just to help form that crust we're looking for on the bottom. Along with these burgers, because we are making bacon burgers, we're gonna place these strips of bacon on the griddle as well to fry them up real nice. So our smash burgers are halfway done, so I'm gonna flip them over and begin cooking the other side. Wow, look at that crust, it's absolutely perfect. Again, I'm gonna flip this other smash burger. Wow, again, that seared crust on the outside of that smash burger looks incredible. All right, so it's at this time we're gonna place some cheddar cheese onto these burgers and just allow them to melt a little bit before we take them off the grill. Our bacon is all crispy and it looks done, so I'm gonna pull them off the grill, as well as our cheese has melted real nice, so I'm gonna pull those burgers off the grill as well. spin that around so we have a cold grate here. I'm just gonna place that directly over the coals. It's important to do it over a cold grate versus your searing hot uh, grill grates or else your buns will burn. Those look pretty good to me. So our burgers and our bacon are all done and so we're gonna start building this burger and again build it the way that you like to to eat your burgers. We're gonna start with some mayo on the bottom. Next we're gonna grab these burgers Put one layer, we'll grab the second layer and place that on as well. Then on top of that, we're gonna place these sauteed onions. And we're doing it this way so that those onions uh, get pressed into the cheese layer. Next, we're gonna place some of this homemade bacon uh, on top of those onions. That looks great. Next, we're gonna place uh, a big giant tomato on top of that, uh, followed by uh, some lettuce. We have our top bun with a little bit more mayo. Then we're gonna put some of this uh, ammo box hot sauce. This is real good stuff uh, from a buddy of mine uh, in town. Place some of that on. Just, this will just give it a little bit of heat uh, to this burger. Top it up.
There we go. All right, guys, this burger looks absolutely insane, and I know it's gonna be so good, and so I'm gonna bite into it and give it a taste test. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This burger is amazing. It's got that crispiness that you would expect uh, from a classic smash burger, as well as it's got that smoky and saltiness uh, from this homemade bacon that we used. This burger is really unreal, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go in for more, and I hope you try it out. Mm -hmm. So that's how you make that delicious bacon cheeseburger smashed down on the kettle grill. You're going to love it for sure. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below letting us know how you enjoyed this cheeseburger recipe. And until next time, we'll see you later.